Hey, what's up everyone? We're playing some Minecraft. Last video, we checked out the trial chambers. Today, we're going to find one near our house. We're going to excavate it. We're going to create farms. We're going to do a lot of work. I'm expecting this to take weeks, but here we go. I reset some of the chunks around my base to see if I can get one near me. And if we go in spectator mode and go under the ground, as you can see, I have found one very close to my base back in the back over there. You can see my dropper game, but I mean, hey, it looks like a pretty good one. I can't complain. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to drain some of the ocean using sand. I'm going to have to excavate this entire place. I want this to be like a fly-in farm. I want to basically get rid of everything up top so I can just fly into the child chamber. Decoration and stuff's kind of still up in the air, but for now, I'm going to have to get started on getting rid of the water, getting rid of the blocks. Okay, so... In the background, you're going to see a time lapse. Like I said, this initial part of just clearing things out will take so long. There is basically no way of me to have any footage at normal speeds because it's going to be like a good 12 to 14, maybe more hours of footage to clear out the whole thing. So it's going to be time lapse, but it's okay because you guys got me here to entertain you. Now, just a few things that I did want to mention with new updates, of course, a lot of people need to go very far away from their homes to find a lot of new content because obviously the new generation. If you guys are wondering what program I use to basically regenerate some of the chunks in my world so I can have some of the new stuff near me, it is called MCA Selector. It is a great program. It's so simple. You literally open it up, you click on your world file and you just select chunks to delete. Uh, always, please guys, if you do it, Make backups of your stupid world. I've been saved numerous times by making backups. Make sure to do that before you play around with your world. But yeah, you simply select the chunks and hey, uh, maybe there's something near you, which is super, super cool. So that's what I did. But now, so what's going to happen? Uh, I kind of already mentioned it, but initially it's just going to be a lot of grunt work. Once I'm kind of done with the initial excavation... Uh, we'll kind of pop back in live when we'll actually build some of the farms. Now yeah, what I envisioned here with this project, I want to keep the spirit of the trial chambers intact. I want to try to keep as many of the walls, as many of the decorations, the flooring. Uh, I want to keep that stuff intact if, po in po if possible, but the entire place is going to be lit up. It's going to be open to the sky, so it's going to be a fly-in child chamber. So, of course, a lot of the flooring is going to have to get knocked out. Plenty of the walls are going to have to get knocked out, too, just to make it um, basically as open as possible. And I want to take every single spawner in here and turn it into a farm. Now, luckily, and again, we'll, I'll show you, I'll give you guys a good tutorial once we get to that portion. The contraptions to help you farm the blaze and the and the blaze the breeze and the trial keys are extremely easy to make so although you might be like oh well, there's like 25 spawners in a in a chamber yeah but like one really like one contraption only takes maybe less than five minutes to make if you don't suck so it's really not that bad Okay, guys, the trial chambers are now prepped. I think we should start building the actual farms themselves. And then once the farms are up and running, we can be a little bit more fancy as far as the decorations. But <clears throat> in this room, I have two spawners. I've got a breeze spawner and I've got a normal skeleton spawner. Um, so that's perfect. We will build both farms right now today in one single sitting. Now, obviously, uh, these farms are so easy to build. Uh, I would dare say they're almost a breeze. This one relies on me doing absolutely nothing except just being here for a moment. And then that one just relies on me swinging a sword. Uh, it's nothing crazy. It's not technical. It involves like zero redstone minus like a single hopper. <clears throat> so they're easy to build. And funny enough, I've already built a couple. But I wanted to do it on camera with you guys step by step. So let's go ahead and do it. Uh... Uh, you know, let me just throw this stuff out of my inventory. I don't want it to screw me up. All right, so here's essentially what we'll need, and not all of this. We just need a little bit of netherrack. You just need, like, a single hopper, a mine cart, a rail, some chests, a couple of water buckets, three specifically, and something to light a fire with, and then just some normal building blocks. I think this is just about everything we'll need. I don't see ourselves needing anything else. So, let's go ahead and get started. Why don't 
we build i would say the harder one first which again harder is like a pretty stupid thing to say in these terms because this isn't that hard now uh the tough part about building this is if you if your spawner is like active but uh, my spawner isn't active they just died so i have <clears throat> basically 30 minutes to build this thing without anything spawning so it, it'd be smart of you if you're gonna build this just get the actual trial done first so you don't have to deal with them so here's what you got to do uh one two three blocks below it you want to have a chest on top of that chest you want a hopper on top of that you want a rail on top of that you just want a hopper mine cart bam and there's your redstone done now you're going to want to build a five by five around it of netherrack because we're going to be using fire to <clears throat> basically automatically kill uh, whatever spawns and once things die after a couple of seconds it gives us a key pretty simple so you can see i have a five by five netherrack around it uh now the rest is just uh, a little bit of building so let's go ahead <clears throat> and my choice of decoration here will just be normal copper blocks and you make it out of whatever uh the only thing i'd say is i did make a mistake initially when building these and i built them out of transparent blocks and i still don't know the reason exactly why it doesn't particularly work but i just don't recommend it use solid blocks for this it just uh makes everything a little easier so we're gonna build a wall around it i've seen different people do it different ways as far as the height of the wall honestly it, it's really not that big of a deal as long as they can't spawn on top of the spawner so what i usually do is like one of these <clears throat> just like that and then I make the walls all around. And it's as simple as this. Once this is done and you lit the fight and you light the fire, that's really it. So let's go ahead and head down here. Go ahead and light the fire. And because it's netherrack, of course the fire will not go out. Which is super nice. <clears throat> go up, up. Bang bang. And we're essentially almost done here. Let's go ahead and finish the top of the wall and i've also seen people not even use a wall you can kind of do whatever you want to be honest but and then the last thing i you we have to have visual of the spawner for it to spawn stuff so it's a good idea to make a few holes just like that and just like that and just like that okay so now when this thing is ready to spawn things it will spawn things I want to see can i like fly in there this is like probably a dumb idea hold on i th this is a terrible idea but i just want to do it there we go uh oh <laughs> yeah this was a terrible idea okay uh yeah don't don't do what i do <laughs> clearly i don't actually do, i can't exactly tell you why i did that but it was fun for what it was worth okay let's just uh quickly finish around it again the decorations will come another time that's not the important part for me today the important part was to build the actual farm or the farm itself and this one is done so once again <clears throat> now every 30 ish minutes or whatever time it is the skeletons spawn they spawn in the fire they die and at the end i get a trial key i don't get the spawns from the skeletons themselves but if you need bones then you build a bone farm you don't need this for bones so yeah, we get the trial key and the other rewards, and that's it. Okay, now, time to move on to the breeze, which, in my opinion, this farm, which is not really a farm, uh, is even easier to build. So here, I'll show you guys. Here's the breeze. I think it's time for them to spawn again, so let's go ahead and just finish it so we don't have to deal with it. Uh, hello? Oh! Alright, here. Can you jump towards me so I can kill you? No, no, no. Come back! There we go. We actually hit it. And yes, I know I should be using a sword here. I don't care. I'm hitting it with my pickaxe. Come on. You know you want to die. That's demented. Uh, come on, come on, come on. These things are interesting. <clears throat> Alright, try to get a few hits off. Ooh. I think... Also, these things are, like, very easy to kill, like, once you just, like, learn their patterns a little bit. You just jumped into me. Alright, that's it. Woo! Come here! 
All right, one more shot. That's it. One more shot. Woo. All right. <clears throat> what do we get? What is this? Leap? Swiftness? Gross. Okay. Now that we've got that done, we can actually build the farm itself. What we'll need is a 3x3 three three around it. So let's just go ahead and start making it. And then <clears throat> I think you need five blocks down. So that's one, two. I will just count. So we're at two. Don't forget the number. Numbers are important. Three. And I don't think it has to be specifically five. That's four. But it just needs to be more than three. And then five. Here we go. Okay, so yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. And now we're going to want an area to basically pick up our drop. So with this farm, how it works is <clears throat> the breezes don't automatically get killed. You do have We do have to manually kill them, but at least it collects them in one area and makes it basically where they can't jump around and act like a fool. So we do that. And then we see we have a three by three. These blocks over here are going to be hoppers just so when we kill it our hoppers go into somewhere bang 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 now we want to grab oh i did forget a thing i i was feeling like dude i forgot something yeah i forgot my slabs that's what i need and then so one two three and then we're going to want to build the slabs on the fourth spot here just like that now you need some water buckets water water and water so th hello wait hold on i messed it up bro no way um why did that water bucket like glitch out on me that was weird okay so you you want the water coming towards the hoppers but you don't want them to be source blocks because if they're source blocks anything that drops right here is going to get stuck so make sure they're not source blocks and Honestly, that's kind of the farm. The rest of it is now just building blocks. Let's go ahead and build build some blocks. Hello? Okay, that works. Also, I don't know why my mouse has been doing this weird <clears throat> like double click thing as of recent. Also, you these can be adjusted to like, your own personal preference. Um, I'm actually gonna fix these real quick. I think it's better like this. It gives you like a better hit on them you know what i mean so maybe like that okay and then we're gonna have the same deal with these see i don't know why it's double clicking like that it's the same deal where we will have to leave a spot open for us to have the farm itself like vi like visually open to us so it spawns things then you just want to make sure you go all the way around and then on here you want to go one, two. Again, I don't know why it does that, but maybe honestly, I might need a new mouse soon. I've been using the same Razer Death Adder for Death Adder Chroma for a very long time. So you want to put two and then a third as far as the ceiling. That's it. Yeah, I've gone through a lot of Razer Adders. I just, I really like this mouse. It's been my mouse basically since I was a, like a tween, bro. Like, yeah, that's it. That That's this farm. Uh, it gives them space to basically spawn. They drop down here. You kill them. You grab their stuff. This one, you don't even do anything. You just let them spawn. They die. You get keys. Simple as that. Now, <clears throat> those are the two farms. Easy peasy. What I might actually do is end up like connecting these two, though, just like for funsies. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to break this because... Once the hopper's down, none of n nothing else like particularly matters. You know what I mean? So you know what? Let me. Do I not? Ha oh, I don't have my my mining power on right now. Let me see. How far do I have to dig down? Now this is again. This is all just extra now. But am I down far enough? Okay, not yet. Yeet! All right. Where is it? There we go. Oh, okay. That's what we're looking for here. All right. So, I want all of it to siphon into this single chest. So, we'll just have some hoppers running into it. Just like that. And then, really, now, 
Honestly, I don't, I don't even need this right here. There we go. Because they're just going to spawn and die, and then the stuff's just going to go into that chest over there. Easy peasy. Okay, so now that this is done, I want to show you guys the rest of the farms that I built. Now, I my original plan was to show these on camera. The problem was... I, I had to rebuild them a few times as I was kind of learning what I was doing and I just didn't think it made for a great video. So instead, I'm just going to show you guys, but it's really essentially the same as what we just did there. You can see this is another skeleton spawner out with no ceiling on this one, apparently. And it's the exact same thing with netherrack and some fire and some blocks. And then that goes down into... A uh, minecart hopper with some hop, and then <clears throat> it goes down here. It, it's it's very simple. So I have those two over there. I have these two spawners over here, and then this is the big one. This is where a lot of my trial and error came in, and I'm I'm gonna be a little sad not to show it on video, but uh, I'm showing it now basically. So this is the same concept of the other one. As you can see, in this case, I had one skeleton spawner here. I had another skeleton here and here. And then I have a breeze spawner here. So I actually have four in this tiny room. So this room is kind of goaded. Now, of course, the problem with that is I didn't have much room in between these three spawners, but I did have enough room. As you can see, I have a three by three area with a little spot to kill the breeze. Uh, this one's over here. And then... I tried to make a little space here to walk, and then I realized the breeze could spawn in those little spaces, so I actually had to get rid of it. So now I just have this little crawl area back here. And the loot from that skeleton spawner and that skeleton spawner come in these ones over here. See, I already have... Sorry, I already have three uh, trial keys in this one. And then I still have a view of the breeze, but the actual loot of the stuff is here and here. Now... Here's what I'm thinking. I want to do this like a similar thing of what I did to the other one. Where I actually want to connect the loot. There's no reason the loot to not be connected. Do I? Okay, I still have a stack of hoppers. Okay, good. Let's, uh, take, why don't we connect the loot? You know what I mean? Everyone loves a little loot connection. I just have to figure out how to... I want to make sure I don't get in the way of anything. I mean, this one's fairly easy. I just... We'll do, this one will do the exact same thing as we did before. Except I accidentally took out a piece of the floor here. We'll just walk a little bit. That should be more than enough. Okay, now we want to go in here. I'm going to get rid of this chest. Alright, there we go. Easy peasy. And if I really wanted to be smart, I could even move this but this chest somewhere else, but I don't think it's necessary. Okay, do I go uppy? Alright, uppy, uppy. Bang, 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 bang. Okay, so this one is done. I essentially don't really need to worry about this one anymore. Actually, let's go ahead and... Do I have more stairs on me? I need a couple more stairs any more stairs do i i don't even know how to make stairs can i don't yeah i can't craft stairs you know what we'll do we'll go bang bang and we'll just uh i don't know oh yeah i have some extra stairs right here that i'm not using these ones right here oh no yank you know what might be good to to fill in these spots to make sure stuff doesn't spawn inside I don't want stuff spawning inside. Bang, bang, bang. Alright. <clears throat> it's looking pretty clean to me. Can't even add those. Alright, so now that's going to that. So we just need to get the other two chests into that one. So again, I because I it feels kind of annoying having to come all the way like back here to do this. Pretty sure I can just connect them here, right? Whoopsies. I don't think I'm supposed to be right here. Oh, well, that's that's okay. So that, I understand where my trouble's coming from here. <clears throat> but I think I can still just go around, right? Nothing stopping me from going all the way around. Where am I? Okay, so I need to be like right here. 
Whoopsies. Uh, one more block over. <clears throat> okay, there's the chest. Easy enough. And then... Yeah, this is where we'll connect these two. Alright, and we have more than enough hoppers, so we're fine. So, let's go ahead and drag it over. Just like so. And again, this is all just extras, but... I like being a little extra. Wait, what? No. Not that. Okay, and then... Let's make some room... Under the chest. <clears throat> there we go. Now we just branch it sideways. Go boom, boom. Boom. Man, this, this block placement. <clears throat> I'm too fast. What can I say? That's Minecraft player ever. Bang. Okay. Essentially, this site is actually useless now. I built this whole thing. Uh, now, it's not really even needed. So, that kind of sucks. But, also, whatever. You know what I mean? Okay, let's go ahead and cover this up. This can be replaced by normal flooring. Yeah, I don't even know why this is here at this point. I'm just, I'm just going to cover it up. Okay. Maybe I'll leave this here still just so I can get in and out of like this these entrances, but there really there's no reason for it. But hey, we'll figure it we'll figure this out later. The important part now, though. Actually, you know what? I should probably build steps right here and right here. Is everything theoretically should now be funneling into the single chest, so I don't have to check anything else. And bang. Okay. Perfect. Alright. The gang's all here. Oh, let me put... Like, uh, okay, that should probably be about it. Woo! Okay. So, that is... And here's some of the other loot that I collected from like some of the other chests that I ended up having to break. That is the farms. So, so far I have two Breeze. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six of the Skeleton providing me keys. Now, there is a lot of room for expansion. <clears throat> if we look upstairs, there is a lot of spawners. So I have another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight more spots where I can essentially put key farms. Now, that's the thing to note is I don't have any more Breeze spawners here. So that's it. I have two Breeze farms and no more. But with the keys, I have plenty more. And of course, keys are... I don't want to say like the even more important part, but I mean, keys are what you want. Saying that, every trial chamber doesn't have like 20 million chests. You, I don't need a crazy amount of keys. But I think I will end up... Oh, and that's an ominous chest. I will end up creating all of these into farms. I just I don't know if I'm going to do them today. But eventually, all of these will become farms. I think what I'm going to be working on next is really the decoration of the place. Because I kind of went halfway where I just wanted to clear the space to build the farms. And then once the farms are in place and I'm comfortable with them, that's when I surely should be building a lot of the more decorative side. I tried to leave as many of the walls up as possible, but, you know, when exca excavating such a large area, it's really hard to know in the moment what to keep, what not to keep, because I'm blind. I'm just digging. Right? So I tried to dig out as much as I can and preserve as much of the trial chamber as I could. But you see like this giant spot, I had to have this open to air because I wanted to fly down straight into here. So no matter what was there, I needed to get rid of it. You know what I mean? And like this right here, like I, I needed to act, like, basically dig it out to have room for these. And I'm going to have to actually dig it out farther. So sometimes it was a little hard to keep the original features of the place, but... I tried my best. Yeah, because now, let's go ahead and fly up. This is what I'm currently dealing with. I'm going to have to figure out what I want to do with all of this. Because I made... Okay, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I made a pretty big mistake. I thought that this extended the actual trial chamber themselves. 
I thought it extended out until here. And it kind of does. It extends out until this area here. The problem is there's no spawners in this section of the trial chamber. Meaning I don't need to dig down to it. There's no spawners there. So I cleared out this entire area and made a mess of my little tiny ocean here. For essentially nothing. So now I have to figure out what I'm going to do with all this dugout space. And then kind of the same on this side where I don't... That, well, okay, this side's a little different because I didn't show you guys, but there is a door right there to leads, that leads to one more section of this trial chamber that does have more key spawners in them. So right here, I can build another section of key spawners, but I don't really want to. So this side is less of a tragedy, but that side is kind of a big tragedy. So I might either fill it in or... The other project that I was maybe thinking of is I thought how cool would it be if this entire ocean had like a glass, there'd be a glass ceiling here, right? So I could keep an eye on the ocean. So that's, I think that's what I'm going to gonna end up doing is putting, making this entire thing a glass wall and then just doing something cool in the middle. That's not farm related particularly, but yeah, I have to figure out what I'm, I, what am I now going to do with this large hunk of empty space that's around obviously from there to here i want to keep it open but even then i'll need to build up walls and stuff so essentially what i'm trying to say here is there is quite a bit of thinking that i have to do of like what do i want to do next essentially there this is a much larger project that i anticipated for a farm that really isn't that complicated i feel like i could have dug out maybe not like 4% of the things that I dug out probably didn't need to be dug out for the farms to be created because you see how small the farms are. I didn't need to dig all of this out, but I just got a little overzealous and a little too excited. I haven't played Minecraft seriously for probably over eight months at this point. Um, so I, I kind of just got a little overzealous, but I think we did a lot of good work and I think that this has the potential to be something extremely cool and I hope you guys think it's cool. Uh, because I think it's cool. A little ugly currently, but I think it's cool. And I think it could be something. Nice. Alright. Um, I think I'm probably done for today. Like I said, uh, I think the next step is a little decoration and just finishing off a lot of those key farms. But Yeah, I also have a lot of video editing to do. Because digging all of this out, uh, I don't know how long you guys think it takes, but it takes a very long time. It, uh, I think I worked on it over the period of a few weeks, actually. Which, again, you guys were like, what? A few weeks? Yeah, I mean, there's also a reason you don't see Minecraft videos super often. Because usually the projects that I get into nowadays, they they take a few weeks to do. I mean, uh, and I'm not talking about... I didn't play 12 hours a day for four weeks at a time. But, you know, uh, every other day I played for four hours and dug as much as I could, you know. Uh, but, okay guys, I'm gonna shut up now, I'm kinda just yapping to be honest. But yeah, the farms themselves, it's a breeze, they're easy to build, just depends on how hard you wanna do the other portion of it. Alright guys, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you later.